We as humans have a deeply rooted desire to figure out what lies beyond our horizons. People have explored and travelled in other countries, in the depths of the oceans, and now we are taking to space to try and figure out the secrets of the universe, the biggest structures, what or who else is out there, and how it all began. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three interesting space-themed discoveries and announcements. Scientists reveal aliens might message us with encoded DNA. Contact with extraterrestrial life is a highly debated topic, not just within scientific and academic circles. Tons of research efforts have been poured into looking to contact alternate life forms or even locate life elsewhere. And plenty have questioned if contacting these aliens would be a wise idea, that is, if they are there at all. However, Research developments in DNA sequencing have pushed people to ask the question, could aliens be communicating to us through the DNA of bacteria? This theory has actually been in discussion for decades, with members of the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence or SETI community posing some interesting insights. Despite these debates having existed for a while, these concepts and ideas were largely hypothetical. Though following the sequencing of the human genome marked in 2003 with the completion of the Human Genome Project, we know we are able to look for patterns within DNA strands. So why not codes? We also know that bacteria in space has a long travel time and is capable of being fired great distances, light years away from where they began. This means that bacteria could act as good hosts for messages, with aliens being able to send messages to us from afar. Trusting their notes will make it a good way through the universe. Robert Zubrin spoke at the Breakthrough Discuss 2019 conference at the University of California to discuss the plausibility of communicating through encoded DNA. He is also an astronautical engineer. He said whilst explaining how the tiny microbial bacteria could break the gravitational force of the stars they reside with, that F, G and K spectral type stars could allow bacteria to break away. These stars are typically the brighter ones in the sky. He goes on to explain that other stars may struggle to push the bacteria outside of their own solar systems, preventing the interstellar space travel needed to receive alien codes. Zubrin did, however, cite a paper that theorized that if a bacterial colony was strongly magnetized, then it could create a miniature magnetic sail. This gives the bacteria the potential to gain a 500 km per second solar wind, enough to move it out of the solar system with ease. Of course, this is all hypothetical and there are a great number of other theories speculating as to how this is possible at all. Unfortunately, there are not any certain answers. In regard to the content of these possible messages, we know based on research conducted a little closer to home that we are able to encode bacterial DNA with information. The New York Genome Project was able to encode 215,000 terabytes of information per gram of DNA. An individual bacterium usually ranges between 1 and 10 millionths of a meter, giving plenty of room to code in a bacterial colony. As of 2019, it was considered realistic to encode some with 900 terabytes of data, which, when given some context, is ginormous. Zubrin likens this data size to 2 billion 200 page books. Zubrin suggests that the next step in this research is to begin looking for encoded microbes around us. He suggests exposing bacteria to, as he describes, space conditions to see which bacterium would be best suited and adapted for flight and to survive in various conditions. Any anomalous microbes in our stratosphere could be worth investigating further. Building blocks of life found in famous Mars meteorite Many topics in science, particularly astrophysics, have been part of long debates and discussions. Mars is no exception. There have been conversations for decades as to whether Mars could hold life or if it ever had the potential to be home to life in its past. Scientists have found ice, but they have also found an inhospitable environment, followed by the discovery of small craters where life could plausibly survive. This seesaw of a debate has swung back and forth over the years, with many believing that even if there isn't life on the Red Planet anymore, that there may have been life on Mars 
during the ancient Notion period. Though 2020 research into a famous meteorite could give one more point to the there was once life on Mars argument. Allen Hills 84001, also referred to as ALH 84001, is a well-known Mars meteorite found in the Allen Hills in Antarctica in 1984. Research conducted on it in more recent years has revealed that the 4 billion year old Martian meteorite contains organic molecules that support life on Earth as we know it today. These molecules contain carbon, often referred to as one of the building blocks of life, which not only supports all life on Earth but aids temperature regulation of the planet and is a key component in plenty of food sources. Not only has carbon been confirmed to be within ALH 84001, but nitrogen has too, and it was found within carbonate minerals. Carbonate minerals are commonly formed in groundwater, suggesting that what is now known to be ice was once water on Mars. This presents the image of a Mars that, long, long ago, was habitable. A whole host of fantastic research projects over the years have helped to fill in the blanks and provide knowledge that can support and deny these ideas. For example, NASA's Curiosity Mars rover observed ancient native organics as well as a lake and stream system by the Gale Crater. Whilst these may not mean much in terms of life today, when you combine these details with the minerals found in the meteorite, the idea that Mars was once habitable becomes much more supported. These claims have been made before, with ALH 84001 being used as evidence back in 1996. This team, led by Dave Mackay from NASA's Johnson Space Center, gave four lines of evidence, including carbonate globules and organic molecules. However, it was pointed out that these conclusions were fairly presumptuous. Abiotic factors, meaning non-living factors, could have also caused these molecules, not exclusively living things. Despite this criticism, the authors of the study continue to support their conclusions and assessments. The new study took a different approach, however. Led by Mizuo Koki from the Institute of Space and Astronautical Science at the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, the 2020 study used precise analytics to make their conclusions, including an X-ray spectroscopy to find traces of nitrogen and pinpoint it to the carbonate minerals within ALH 84001. In any other observations of ALH 84001, nobody had seen any nitrogen. This groundbreaking discovery has been explained as scientists believe that the organics were trapped in the carbonate about 4 billion years ago. Much like the original study, there are still abiotic factors that could cause this occurrence, and nitrogen does not necessarily determine that there was once life on Mars. However, these highly advanced techniques drastically reduce terrestrial contamination, limiting some confounding variables. We still do not know if there was ever life on Mars but we have discovered a new piece to the puzzle, and it is certainly worth considering. Astronomers discover largest known spinning structures in the universe. The universe is huge, yet despite the vast endlessness of the universe we live in, astronomers seem to have found the largest rotating structures out there. These spinning structures are long trails that fall between galaxies, and they spin on an axis of a whopping hundreds of millions of light-years. Astronomers at the Leibniz Institute for Astrophysics Potsdam report that there has never been such a large rotation seen before. These large structures, called cosmic filaments, were first observed by monitoring and recording the movements of galaxies and how they connect between one another. Cosmic filaments are essentially the bridges that join up different galaxies and dark matter, but a previously unknown property was that they spin. Cosmic filaments are thin cylinders, with diameters spanning millions of light-years, though they can stretch for hundreds of millions of light-years in length. Despite their ginormous scale, they rotate, making them the largest spinning structures in the universe. Peng Wang, the author of the study and an astronomer at the Leibniz Institute for Astrophysics Potsdam, explained how this large-scale spinning could be relevant to our developing understanding of physics. He stated, the implication is that there must be as yet unknown physical mechanisms responsible for torquing these objects. We have no idea how this angular momentum is created, and it remains one of the biggest questions in cosmology. 
Yet, seeing these huge filaments carrying out this prospect proves that this concept has application beyond computer simulations. The world around us continues to grow, and our understanding continues to develop alongside it. The information we gain from each new piece of research opens a whole new host of research opportunities for the future. From potential communications with aliens to ancient Martian life to figuring out some of the oldest physics questions in a practical applied scenario, the world beyond Earth truly is amazing. But what do you make of these three interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.